Hey guys, Pat here, and today we are looking at this. It's a very small mechanical keyboard, missing its number pad, uh, missing the media keys, missing what I always say is, is a must, and it's a scroll wheel for sound and sound levels, uh, which I love and absolutely love keyboards with it. So this doesn't have it, this doesn't have a numpad, it's also very small, it's mechanical, and it's only 40 bucks from Amazon. Is it actually any good? Well, let me tell you about it because this keyboard is my main everyday driver, keyboard, gaming, keyboard, whatever you want to call it. I use this every day and I've swapped away from my Corsair for now. As you can see, this keyboard is actually pretty darn small. It doesn't even have space for the little square area with page up, page down and all that. And to be honest, who uses that? Who uses page up and page down? Don't you just use your arrows? You've got home, you've got pause, and you've got insert here, which again, we don't use, I don't use. This could be a whole row less than what it is right now. Other than that, the media keys are an FN key, which means you can hold that and press some of these uh, buttons up here, and they do work, like don't get me wrong, that's great. Uh, but I don't wanna do two motions of maybe even potentially two hands, or even one hand going boom, boom. It's a little bit too confusing to try and get something on the go, especially maybe you're playing, playing a game and you wanna put the sound down a little bit, you gotta first find the FN key, then go down on the sound, and that's actually like all the way across. So this isn't necessarily a pain of the keyboard, it might be a design thing, but I, I would say that even if you made it a little bit taller and added some separate media keys uh, for sound and, and potentially a scroll wheel for sound, then this would be a perfect keyboard. You can remove this page up and down. Who uses it? Let me know in the comments, guys, if you still use that other than the actual arrows on your keyboard, which are hidden here in this area. Now, you may have noticed there is no cable. Is this a wireless mechanical keyboard? No. I actually got it out of the box and I freaked out because I thought it was. But in fact, on the back, as I'll probably show in a couple of videos, there's routing areas for the actual cable that I have right here. And that way you can actually just put it in where you want it. It can either sit this way, this way in, or that way. And it's still the same cable, it's just a micro USB, nothing special. So unfortunately, not wireless for $40, but mechanical. Now these switches, they sound to me like browns, but I have been told by a friend that they actually sound a lot more like reds. Now I can't quite pinpoint what kind of ones they are, but I'm pretty sure they're browns. They, they're, they're, they're brown as much as I can say. So these are probably uh, the exact ones I wanted in my Corsair and I got them in this. So. I don't know, I really, really like the sound of these because I've already been using on the Corsair. Maybe that is why I got sold to this so quickly. But the main reason for me is because it's so darn small. This does not take up any space on my actual desk. And I can have a drink, I can have a cup, and I can have a laptop next to me without having to bump into the corners of the large Corsair keyboard that I have. And this is just absolutely magnificent. The other bonus is taking it to a LAN. Super light, super quick, slip it in. There's no little handle here for your armrest to worry about that's gonna flip around. Cause you know, they're all just usually screw-ins or little clips and they break off. So it's the simplest thing you can get. And it still has little kicks at the back to make sure you've got a nice angle on your arm. Now my downfall of this actual keyboard is, is one little thing. And that is that there is no control button on this side. There should be a control button, make the space smaller, because when I'm doing things like editing and using shortcuts, one of the biggest things I use is cut, control K. Unfortunately, to do control K on this, I have to go control and scroll all the way across with my whole hand to press K. And that is really, really, really painful. And there's no micro keys that I can set assign to as a combination, unfortunately. There's no software for it. So it's a huge downfall if you're editing or using key combinations that require your left hand to complete those combinations. So control here would have made this the best keyboard I've ever had. Unfortunately, it's not the best, but it still wins on price, performance, and build quality. Again, this is very comparably and potentially a weird use case if you are doing a lot of editing, video editing, or maybe using key shortcuts from this side of this uh, keyboard 
from here you've still got control you can do whatever you want in gaming you can control to do achieve whatever movement you have so i guess the problem really stems from if you are using this for a specific use case or if it's just going to be a spare gaming computer or your main computer to game on uh, and then you've got an editing computer and $40, you don't only just get the keyboard and obviously spare micro USB cable, but you also get spare switches so you can replace them as you wish, like the full actual metal switch within inside. So you can swap them out for something else or just swap it out if it breaks. All in all, it works absolutely well. There is no software needed uh, to change the lights. It's a button on here to, to flick through the actual lights, which means you can't really customize individual keys Technically, you could if the software is there and potentially if there was a controller in there. I'm really not sure. I couldn't really look it into it due to the company, this uh, company from China. There's really very limited information I can find. So maybe you guys can find something that will help you uh, change some lights here. But, you know, at the end of the day, is $40 really going to pay for these kind of extras where if you press W, it lights up three buttons around you and floats away? I mean, those are extras that you don't necessarily need, especially if you're gaming. At the end of the day, if you're gaming, you just need it to work. If it lights up pretty, that, that really is just a bonus and more of a look. And I say that about a lot of things. Cases are, if they're performing well, why get a pretty looking case? I get it. It's vanity. And at $40, you don't need the vanity because you're getting a cherry brown. I'm not sure if it's cherry. I don't know if I'm able to say cherry, but it's browns-ish switches in a mechanical keyboard with a beautiful build quality and very very solid and I highly recommend it. Sorry but after seeing this, after being sent this, I cannot say to someone go spend $120 on a mechanical keyboard. I can't do it because this is $40 and it does the exact same job and if I was going to a full-size keyboard I'd probably go with a Logitech keyboard for about $80 to $90 to $100 also mechanical with their uh, own proprietary switches because if you're gonna go high-end Corsair or, or anybody else, um, you're gonna end up paying a lot more and you're probably gonna get the same stuff except all those little premium features. So guys, thank you very much for watching uh, um, this review. Again, it's, it's the price and it is the size. It really sold me on that. And I'm really happy to say I had a great experience. And I've actually taken this review a lot longer than I should have because I just kept using it and completely forgot about it. Because I, I just had it on my computer. It just became part of my uh, life, really. Now, I have the problem that I have a very nice keyboard that I paid nearly $300 for. And I have this keyboard. I don't know what I'm going to use. And I'm just... It's buyer's remorse on one hand, even though this came after. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in another video. Heaps of videos coming up soon. Uh, hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think of small keyboards, mini keyboards. There is one in white also, so there's black and white. Should have mentioned that. Thanks guys and I'll catch you in another video. Bye.